Hey, this is Brandon Bias from ChitchaCheckIt.com, and welcome to a Photoshop Intermediate Tutorial. Today, we're actually going to learn something pretty useful. We are going to learn how to enhance a photo using brightness and contrast and hue and saturation. So go ahead and open up your photo. I'm going to use Creek, one of the sample pictures that come with Vista automatically, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and get a good look at our photo. So here we go, we've got some plants and some other green nature, and of course we've got a creek going down the middle. Now just at first glance, this is actually a really nice looking photo. However, I know that it could look a lot better with some enhancements. So we're going to go off to the right to our adjustments panel and double click to open it. And we are going to use this first icon right here, brightness and contrast. Now brightness, obviously, controls how bright or dark a picture is. Contrast, when you're increasing it, makes your darks darker and your brights brighter. But when you decrease the contrast, it actually makes everything more gray looking. So go ahead and start increasing the contrast in your photo, and you can automatically see the changes that are taking place as you increase it. Now I think it looks good right here at 80. And just a quick note, if you put contrast all the way up to 100, sometimes it looks good. I mean, in this picture it looks okay, but in other pictures it will make them look very unrealistic, and that's something that you do not want. So I'm going to put this down back to 80, and we're going to start increasing our brightness just a little bit. We don't want too much brightness in our picture. And there you go, 30 seconds worth of work, and you've already got a very nice looking picture. But brightness and contrast can only go so far. Say I wanted to increase the greens in my plants. Well, I wouldn't be able to do that with brightness and contrast. I have to use hue and saturation. To get to that, we need to go back using this back arrow and click this icon right here, hue and saturation. Of course, plants are green, so we're gonna go to our green channel right here. And if you start increasing the saturation, you can see how much more intense the greens become. But that's a little too intense, so we're gonna go back down to around 30. And that looks really good to me. But if I put the saturation all the way down, that'll make it gray, and you can see all of the colors that we're missing that we want to adjust. Like, we have some green plants in here that we're missing. So if we wanna catch those greens, we want to use this eyedropper right here with a plus icon next to it and give it a click and there we go we've got a lot more of our greens selected of course we have a couple yellows here and there but we really do not want to adjust those just yet so we're going to put this back up to 30 and you can tell that we picked up a lot more grass than before now i'm going to take a look at the creek I mean, it's very nice looking, but the bright greens kind of made it look boring and you don't really pay attention to it very much. So I want to make the blues in my creek pop out more. So obviously I'll go to my blues and start increasing the saturation. But I'm going to make sure I don't go too much because then it'll just look like someone poured blue dye in it. And right there should be just about fine. Now we've got a nice blue, blue, oh, hang on. There's a couple of weird blues showing up down here, so I need to decrease the saturation a little bit more. And that looks good right now. Let's go ahead and do a before and after by clicking this icon down here. Let go. Uh, looks pretty good to me. I'm liking it. We're moving on. So up here, we've got this gray, or sorry, not gray, but brownish, yellowish dirt area with a bunch of like dead plants and rocks and this green grass just kind of ends right there and it doesn't blend very well and I don't like how that works so I want to start making this more of a greenish color rather than yellow so how I do that is by clicking this hand that's got little two weird arrows next to it and I want to click right around in this area and if you see over here it went to our yellows channel and this is actually the area of color that we chose before. 
So if we want to change it to a greenish color, what you want to do is take the hue and start dragging it off to the side. And if you look down here, you can actually see the color wheel changing as you drag it side to side. Now this is going to be your before color, and this is going to be your after color that you see down here. And if you look out in the picture, as you're dragging, you can actually see the changes that are taking effect. And you want to adjust it so that it blends with the other grass that's around here. And I might want to increase the saturation some more, maybe change the hue. And I think that looks good right there. But unfortunately, we still have a couple of yellows that we missed. And if we want to try to add those in, once again, we're going to click our eyedropper with the plus button on it. I'm just going to click, drag through, click some more, click. And it's not really doing much. This looks like the best we're going to do for now. So if we want to go ahead and close our adjustments and open up our layers, these are the two adjustments we did and if you alt click on the eye right here you can deactivate both of those and so that would be our before picture alt click again and that's our after picture and that's all there is to do thanks for watching if you have a question post a comment or a video response or email me at brandon at and stay tuned for more tutorials see you later